Well, restaurants will be extra busy over the next few weekends with couples out celebrating Valentine's Day, and it can actually kind of be a stressful thought for those who are trying to live a healthier lifestyle. But as Shalina Casanova with Ad Nutrition will tell you, you can still have a great dinner while sticking to your health goals. It's always great to have you back in the studio. We'll jump, Glad to be here. <laughs> jump right in. When it comes to restaurants, it's really kind of alarming how many calories are packed into some of those foods that might even look like healthy options that even surprised you. Oh, yes, it, it definitely did. And um, I already know that it's about two to three times uh, the caloric, you know, the calorie dense foods versus maybe cooking at home. But when I kind of dug a little further, I was like, I was appalled because roughly average, it's about 1,500 calories per uh, plate at a restaurant and when someone's daily intake should be maybe around 2,000 that's quite a bit yeah so. that's almost your whole day's yeah. worth of, of yes. caloric intake and then I was noticing on the notes that you sent me um, like salad dressing when you go to get a salad that the salad dressing could be 500 calories itself yes absolutely so a lot of the house and in made dressings are made with sugar and you know all the good stuff to make it taste great and that's what makes it so you've got sugar and oil Oil and salt and makes it um, a little bit you know higher calorie than maybe what you would have had at home so yeah yes. this kind of surprised me I know <laughs> <laughs> they're tricking your, us your, your 100 calorie <laughs> salad just was uh, you know really quick made it 700 calories yeah because so. you're like oh I'm having a salad I'm healthy so what can we do to make better choices when we're going to restaurants while still enjoying the meal I mean you don't have to eat a piece of lettuce no. <laughs> you know you can have a good and and hearty meal but still make good choices yeah sure absolutely so so one of the things is you want to probably eat a snack before you go out to eat. You don't want to go like ravenous, right? So it's really important that you go, you know, with maybe a little bit hungry, but not too hungry. And if you focus maybe on building that balanced plate, which is half your plate fruits and vegetables, non-starchy, and then quarter of your plate protein, quarter of your plate starchy carbohydrates, this can kind of help reduce calorie intake when you're eating out. Also, you could ask sauces on the side, you know, ask if they have baked fruit versus fried, things like that. Um, it's okay to ask questions to Absolutely. the servers. Like it's, it's, cause I get to a restaurant and I'm just like, oh, everything's fine. But I mean, what are some of the things that you wanna ask your server uh, to make sure you're getting the healthiest option? Yes, it's, it's, you know, it's the food you're putting in your body. So you can be picky. If you have health goals or weight loss goals, ask questions, ask what's in it, how much is in it. And they, they know, or they'll ask for you. And then, you know, that can kind of help you as well. So be you, picky. You talk about mindful eating. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that mean exactly, being mindful eating? Yeah, so mindful eating is kind of like I would say enjoying your food. So slowing down, taking time to enjoy your food, you know, really taste your food. Um, you want to chew slower, you know, and really just enjoy that moment with your food. And that's, you know, mindful eating. Take it all in. Take it all in, <laughs> smell it, taste it, yes. But you can still go and you can have all of the food mm -hmm. that you like, but just don't uh, overeat, I guess, would be what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, and then, you know, and if you're someone that frequents restaurants a lot, then having a good uh, plan going in, planning ahead, or if it's once in a while, also having a plan, checking out the menu before you go, kind of getting an idea of what you want and, you know, how to work with something towards your goals. I really think planning ahead makes all the difference in the world, yes. because if you go in with your mindset, okay, I'm getting this, and I'm gonna eat this much of it, and then I'm gonna take the rest home, it, it just really helps you stick to kind of stick to your guns, yeah, I guess. Yeah, because you already planned it. So you're like, I'm going to do it. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks, so, Shalina. We appreciate you. And we'll see you probably back here in about a month or so. Have a happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. You too.